This week, a UK grocery chain is going plastic free. Miley Cyrus is revolutionizing cruelty-free fashion. Leonardo DiCaprio saved a hundred whales in Russia. And find out which celebs spoke out against Canada Goose on national television. All that and more on Liv Kindly's Weekly Vegan News. Iceland will be the world's first plastic-free supermarket by 2023. The UK supermarket chain will trial plastic-free produce in a bid to reduce ocean plastic pollution. It has to do something and I think it's very Iceland to be bold and to, to stand up and, and, and take a stand. The trial will launch at the frozen food giant's food warehouse concept store, one of the larger stores in North Liverpool. The package-free, own-brand products will be priced lower than the plastic-covered counterparts. Paper bags, cotton, and cellulose nets will be offered in place of plastic for loose fruit and vegetables. Throughout the trial, Iceland will gather customer feedback to share with the UK government. Coming up, A&W Canada welcomes Beyond Meat breakfast sausages. Miley Cyrus is known for many things, and in the last few years, her unapologetic passion for veganism and animal rights in particular. The reason that I kind of started this was because I had a fish that was highly intelligent. In fact, Cyrus has made it her mission to make the vegan lifestyle seem as accessible as possible. Fashion is one area the 26-year-old wants to play a hand in revolutionizing. According to her recent interview with Vanity Fair, I actually think I'm challenging the system more than ever, Cyrus told the magazine. In the past few months, she stepped out in vegan, cruelty-free fashion, documenting her choices on her social media. But this is more than your average celebrity creating a style moment for likes or praise. This is activism, according to the star. She works closely with designers to create vegan pieces. Last May, she attended the Met Gala in a silk satin gown by cruelty-free fashion designer Stella McCartney. I want to bring a message, which is veganism and that there doesn't have to be torture in fabulous fashion. With a pair of vegan custom black pumps by cruelty-free shoe brand Mink. Cyrus also wore a vegan silk satin gown to her wedding to Liam Hemsworth, designed by Vivian Westwood. She has even tried her own hand at designing, partnering with Converse to create several vegan footwear and lifestyle collections. Leonardo DiCaprio has helped convince Russia to free a hundred captive whales. The award-winning actor and environmentalist shared a petition on his Twitter account, urging Russia to free 90 beluga whales along with five baby walruses and 11 orcas. The animals were being held captive off of Russia's Pacific coast. According to authorities, the marine mammals were being kept in cramped conditions before an eventual sale to Chinese aquariums. Charges have been filed against the companies for violating fishing laws. President Putin reportedly became aware of the situation and ordered a decision on the fate of the animals last week. Despite the ruling, the animals are still being held captive as the ecology minister told TASS news agency, the most important thing is to release them properly. At press time, there was no release date set. Coming up, find out which television host spoke out against Canada Goose. A&W Canada will launch Beyond Meat's highly anticipated vegan breakfast sausages. Jillian Harris, host of HGTV's Love It or List It Vancouver. So are you excited to see the house? Shared the news in an Instagram story. The 39-year-old TV personality broke off a piece of the vegan sausage to showcase the meat-like texture. It's salty and moist and a little bit fatty, but in a good way, like sausage. It's unbelievable, Harris said in her story. This isn't the first time a w Canada partnered with Beyond Meat. Restaurants nationwide launched the vegan Beyond Burger last June to enormous success. That's a Beyond Meat burger from a &W. <laughs> That's insane. The meatless burger, made to look and taste like a traditional patty, outsold beef burgers in certain locations. Many stores posted signs saying that the Beyond Burger sold out due to overwhelming popularity. Last month, a w credited a 10% sales increase in the fourth quarter to the launch, with a large percentage coming from meat eaters. Gordon Ramsay adds Vegan Impossible Burger to his Singapore restaurants. The vegan movement in Singapore is growing. Late last year, it was reported that vegan activities in the island nation had increased by 140%. Ramsay's restaurant, Bread Street Kitchen, 
will serve the vegan Impossible patty on a burger called the Impossible BSK Burger. Embrace what's happening locally, especially the produce, and also understanding the Singaporean's palate. Executive chef Sabrina Stillhart described Impossible Foods meat as rich in flavor with a unique texture, according to Business Insider. Stillhart believes the patty will be welcomed by meat lovers. The plant-based meat will also appear in five other eateries in Singapore. So we're embarking on one of the largest scale-ups in the history of the food industry. The burger patties can be found in more than 5,000 venues across the United States, Hong Kong, and Macau. Political commentator Bill Maher has called out hipsters for wearing Canada Goose jackets. Maher made the comments in a segment of his popular HBO show, Real Time. What they don't realize or may not care about is that Canada Goose trims its coats with the fur of coyotes who've been crushed and mangled in steel traps so painful and indiscriminate that they've been outlawed in over 85 countries. These clever protective canines don't die right away, he added. Some, like mothers, who are desperate to get back to their pups in the den, try to chew off their own leg. Canada Goose doesn't just use fur in its designs. It also stuffs its jackets with goose feather down. Geese are gentle and loyal and mate for life, but there's no happily ever after at the slaughterhouse. While Canada Goose relies on down feathers and fur, a growing number of brands have proven that it's possible to make feather-free, fur-free winter coats. That's it for today. Remember to subscribe and hit the red bell. We'll see you again next week for Live Kindly's Weekly Vegan News.